Hello and welcome to a, a video vlog, another outdoor one. This time, oh, excuse me, get my hat sorted. This time it's a review of 2021. I'm stuck in a tent in the pouring rain, as you might be able to hear the pit of pattering on the tent. So it's like a Christmas camp, wild camp. Uh, trying to get one last one in with the possible restrictions that will be coming soon due to Omnicron. So, um, here we are, we'll have a little look back at 2021 in the uh, guitar world. So, we started out in January and February with the uh, lockdown. It was very grim for everybody here in the UK. Two months of lockdown. And it wasn't looking promising, but uh, in that time, Gibson at least managed to uh, get their uh, Murphy Lab guitars out and about in the public domain and they proved to be quite success for them uh, they're extremely expensive several thousand quid or dollars um, basically Tom Murphy is the guy who used to relic Gibson guitars but now he's got his own little Murphy lab but the, the 59 Les Paul Tom Murphy uh, lab version is the closest thing you're going to get to a 59 burst which you'll probably need upwards of about half a million dollars these days if you want 59 bucks. for people that if they just have to have this closest thing to a 59 Les Paul burst which is the holy grail of all guitars then yeah maybe you could see some sense in it but for most of us well out of the price range but I mean they do the other Gibson guitars as well so Generally, it's the 59 burst that people were looking at with that. So, we moved into spring. Uh, still a bit grim, some restrictions on. Not a lot happening with the guitar builds. There's no NAM show in January. Um, it's uh, the pandemic, of course, the knock on effects of the uh, you know, uh, stricken workforce. We uh, made you know, manufacturing was uh, at lower levels obviously and then if you could get things built and together there's nobody there really to distribute it unload stuff at the docks all these sort of things so had a real knock-on effect so guitar companies were quite rightly conservative this uh, this year 2021 but, uh, there were one or two people willing to uh, you know have a go there's something new and different and one of those was Trent guitars I saw a review in a magazine of them um, apologies I can't remember which magazine it was but, uh, there, it, Trent it's a it's a it's a luthier down in Dorset in the UK and he's doing uh, his own thing it's like a it's an offset so it's like a jazz master firebird explorer kind of hybrid shape and uh, Hallelujah, he's got the shape right. It's in proportion. So many independent guitar builders, they'll bring out a shape and the quality of the build will be exceptional. Hand built and all that. And the parts, but the, the shape, there'll be just something off about the shape. But with these Trent guitars, the shape's spot on. I really like them. Um, you can check them out on their website. I mean, it's, he, he builds it as the first vegan. Excuse me a minute. The first vegan uh, guitar, which is interesting. But all I do know is that the finishes are like a water-based spray paint. Um, so they're very eco-friendly guitars as well. So worth checking out. Um, and God bless Tim Mills of Bare Knuckle Pickups. He uh, supplies the pickups for this wonderful P90 is for those. And uh, I think, you know, it's continuing to work with guys like Rabia Massad and that or, uh, pick up ranges and that so god bless tim mills down there in cornwall another uk success in the guitar world and talking of rabia he did when we did actually finally get some shows going out and i should say a big shout out to donnington festival for this because they were like um the first major festival to or certainly in the uk to to experiment with the you know going live again and i think it was like a ten thousand limited capacity crowd but uh, they got that on and that kind of kick-started a lot of other venues opening to, and uh you know 
I've talked about the darkness massive wagons thing, you know, it was the first time I'd been to a big venue for like two years. So, Rabia got on there with Stormzy at Reading and Leeds festivals there, and uh, there's a wonderful video online doing it. If you don't know who Rabia is, he's a, he's, he's a well-known YouTube guitar player, smashing fella. And uh, he used, a, he used a, the Quad Cortex, which is another uh, success of this year, which is a modelling device. Um, it's it's fairly priced, I think. I'm not into modelling, but that looks a good one. And it seems to be taken up by a lot of people. So, yeah, Rabia gets out there with his modelling device, but he's, he's reliant completely on the clip-on tuning when you see the video. So, like, a 10 or 15 quid piece of kit, because he's having to tune up in silence off stage to make sure he's in tune when he does go on, right? So... I love the fact that he's got this expensive modern technology on the deck, the quad cortex, and he's running out on a 15 quid clip on the tune. <laughs> but God bless him, smashing fella, check his, check his channel out if you haven't already. It's, uh, all good stuff. Sadly though, in the summer, uh, we lost Dusty Hill as easy top. Again, I did a vlog of that in Cornwall, and you know, I met every word of that. He's, he's, Dusty, he would. I love ZZ Top. You know. He was just one of those guys who just got on with it. <laughs> just got on with it, kept it simple, but he played in the pocket so beautifully, and that was, he was wonderful. Well, the band have carried on without him with Dusty's wishes, as I said back then, you know, but uh, yeah, a shame Dusty going. So, yeah, Rolling Stones as well. Oh, Charlie. Charlie Watts was another one who passed away this year, sadly. But, uh, I was supposed to be seeing what happened with him. But I want a big shout out for uh, a pal of mine, Phil Doc, Phil Doherty, who sadly lost his uh, battle with cancer in the, the sort of late summer. Um, really sad for everybody who knew him or watched him play. You know, I was I was in the Dead Puppeteers with him, um, which is his kind of baby of a band. For three almost three years, like you know, I, I knew him before that as a mate, but I got to know him really well in those three years, and he was such a gent and do anything for you. And being in a band with him is, is superb because you know, he's like me, he's got a sort of dry, ready sense of humor, you know, you know, trying to see the funny side, and everything. And he kept his dignity throughout this battle he had with cancer, you know. He, 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 even to the end, we managed to do one final gig, which is uh, on his. He managed. He managed to uh, perform on his uh, wedding do day. Uh, well, I say it wasn't his wedding when he got married, but he had a wedding do day on, on the few days after he got married in his, his back garden. We managed. He managed to perform one last time with the puppeteers as as all as a unit. Uh, it was an emotional day, but uh, yeah. He was he was a he was a wonderful character, larger than life. Um, he never he never questioned if he wanted to try something, you know, out do something a bit different. He always used to say, "Yeah, we'll give it a go, and if it's rubbish, <laughs> I'll tell you it's rubbish," which is great. He was never fixed like that, and I miss him. I miss him dearly. He's both a, a, a friend, a bandmate, and everything. And I think everybody knew him misses him. So, if you're watching this up in the gig in the sky dock, yeah, we're all missing you, mate. So, I hope you're having a, some good jamming up there, fella. So, there you go. So, yeah, that was pretty well. It was very sad. I'm still, I say, still missing, but uh, we have to move on, I suppose, with our review of the year. And, um, there were some, you know, effects pedal companies were pretty quiet as well. But, uh, we saw the, uh, excuse me, we saw the preponderance for uh, these kind of IR um, modelling pedals. So Strymon brought their Iridium out, what was it, last, uh, the year, last year, something like that. But, uh, this time we saw uh, Wars Audio bring a good one out and also Boss brought a more competitively priced one out. So, that seems to be a little tread in there. But, uh, these impulse response modeling pedals, basically you can plug your guitar into it and um, it's emulating amps and cabs. 
and you can either send that to a PA or recording device or headphones in certain cases. You know, so it's it's a solution there, recording solution, analyze solution. So yeah, saw those and a special mention I think for Universal Audio. They brought out a range of top class high end digital pedals. And uh, the delay and reverb uh, very, very highly lauded. The same. I've not tried one, but the same. These things are as good, if not better, than the Strymon stuff. So, Strymon, you may have to finally come out with a, a, a successor to the Blue, the Blue Sky, Big Sky, and the uh, Timeline. But we'll see what happens there. To else, what else was the? Yeah, there was the, the the Harmonious Monk by Jam Paddles. I should mention. I did a review of that one. That came out. Uh, it was in collaboration with Mick and Dan from that pedal show, and it's like a harmonic tremolo pedal. But you could get a sort of standard trem sound on it as well. An excellent pedal. That excellent pedal. It stayed on my board for ages, but I missed the reverb, the flint, the uh, Strymon flint. But. Uh, that was a that was an excellent pedal that's uh, been very successful for jam. Jam, as I said in that review, jam everything jam does is great. Thorpe effects, all of Adrian Thorpe, great fella. They had the Pulse Doppler, a very interesting phaser designed with uh, Dan Coggins, a uh, real nice fella, pedal genius. Um, that did all sorts of things that, uh, that went beyond phasing. But, uh, those two continue to collaborate and uh, produce some amazing things too. So that brings us on into the autumn and the winter. And um, I did a video on the Fender Player Plus and guitars made in Mexico. Um, they like the Fender Ultra series, but made in Mexico. But uh, I, the video I did was uh, was, and I still stand by what I did in that video. It was all about the. Uh, quality of these guitars and, and the feature set and I said at the time that it was like the equivalent of the boutique guitars uh, you know you, 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 I wouldn't, you know affordable boutiques how I framed it really you know. they're not going to be the same as a Sir or Anderson or something like that but uh, they're certainly um, boutique quality affordable prices and uh, I think Fender did a great job with those they, 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 they really upped the game of the sort of mid-price guitar uh, range yeah so that leads us into the uh, winter and this is Christmas Eve 2021 as I recall this and it is piddling down outside as you can probably hear so where does that leave us with the Omicron Covid variant the no, no restrictions yet in the UK, but they're definitely coming from Boxing Day onwards. So this is my sort of last camp, just in case that happens, and we'll see how this affects the music business because so many bands were just getting out there, playing again, and you know, getting to promote their albums and, and in contact with the audience again, and actually make some money. You know, they make money on the merch and everything. You know. It's, uh, Let's hope that the Somnicon variant it's more of a temporary a temporary lockdown or restrictive situation that uh, um, you know maybe in the late winter mid late winter we can uh, start seeing some shoots of recovery again because it's much needed we all need entertainment now. I went to see Bill Bailey in Manchester on the 22nd of December 2021 um Absolutely brilliant night, you know, laughing from start to the end and uh, much needed for for everybody there. But, uh, so we need entertainment and that. And I looked at Bill's schedule and that, and he, the, 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 he was only able to play the following night, then he had to cancel the rest of the tour, which is such a shame, but that's where we're at now, isn't it? So, so let's hope this isn't, um, this, this Omnicron isn't full-blown, all the boosters and the jabs are going to help us to get back to a, a more normal way of living a bit quicker this time so it just remains for me to say thanks for watching 
I've got up to nearly 10,000 subscribers now, which is, um, not 10,000 subscribers, in my dreams, 10,000 10, views, I haven't got many subscribers, so I'm very, I'm very pleased and very happy to get that many views, and thank you to every single one who's watched my videos, and everyone who's subscribed as well on the channel, it's only a modest channel, I'm not pretending it's any big channel, it's going to be anything big, um, the feedback I get, you know, is all welcome, and that dictates what I do, really. You know, if people are get, still getting entertained by the stuff I do, I'll keep doing it. That's the bottom line, you know. It's all for fun and entertainment, and uh, really, there's no more hidden agendas. And well, no, there's no hidden agendas. There's no more agendas other than that, really. You know, it's, uh, it's so, so that keeps me occupied, and you know, as well in the especially in these dark nights, but. Uh, Thank you all for watching and it's time for me to say a tally bye everybody. Stay well, keep safe and this will be going out, this one will be going out for maybe before the new year, if not slightly after. So have a, I'll, I will assume you've had a happy Christmas and have a, a, an equally happy new year. Bye.